film strips. So we'll go onto the film strips. And what I like to do with colouring the film strips is you can use those same pens, but cut and dry nibs. I've got a couple of colours of those out. Is that like the blending? It is. It's very much like a blending tool. It just doesn't have any fluid in it or any ink. So what we do is use it to transfer the ink to the photo chip. So using, I use the lighter colours of the Distress ink colours, so Shabby Shutters, Milled Lavender, Tattered Rose, all of those ones. Same thing again, so you dip the nib into the ink and then transfer the ink to your photo, um, the film strip. Oh. But you have to keep going back to the ink. Well that still comes up fantastic as well. Oh. And then just go through and continue on colouring just like you did before. Mm. Oh, there's lots of fun. You can just sit here and these make really cool like artist trading cards. If you're into that sort of thing, these um, film strips are just perfect size for artist trading cards. So this weathered wood, the weathered wood distress ink, it's a really nice sort of light blue colour, like a blue grey, but it's really great for like what I'm doing now, water, and then I'll just darken up that sky a little bit. For starters, there's your finished film strip. Mm -hmm. You can also ink that over with antique linen just to make those edges see the sprocket holes if you wanted them not to be white just go over oh. the whole lot with antique linen distressing so therefore then you've got your little finished film strip but if you wanted to do like if you're working with bottle caps or anything like that then just get a one inch hole punch and then I'm just going to go in a little bit further. So you could put um, like beeswax over the top or yep. beauty and... Yep, anything like that. Any sort of clear embossing powder or anything like that as well. So just punch that out. Now they punch straight out. That would fit then inside a bottle cap. Fill it up with glossy accents or crackle or anything. And okay, so with the word strips, these are sold as a white strip, but they also can be coloured with any of the distress inks as well. If we're going to go with these ones, the antique linen gives it a nice hint. Starting from there. See how you can just sponge those up. And then that just makes them a different colour like that.